This is day 38 of my six mark challenge for AQA GCSE Science. Every day between now and the exam starting from Monday to Saturday, I'm posting a new six mark question so that you can use these in your revision and practice answering these extended response type questions. There's a link in the description below to all of the questions that we're looking at this week and also a playlist with all of the videos in the series so far in case you've missed any. Now, before we get started looking at this structure and bonding question, I just want to remind you of a couple of things. Firstly, although it may look like an essay question, this is not an essay question and you aren't going to receive any marks at all in GCSE Science for writing in paragraphs or even in full sentences. So I would strongly recommend that you answer in terms of bullet points because you'll save yourself time. It's just as clear and it's actually going to make your examiner's life easier because they're not having to wade through pages of waffle. Also, it's important that you answer the full question. So look at this question before you start and think, are there different parts to it? And make sure that your answer covers all of those aspects. Now, if you haven't done so already, give yourself six minutes to answer this six mark question. The bonding of carbon, either in form of graphite or graphene or diamond, is a really popular topic with AQA and it comes up pretty much every other year. But because it comes up so often, quite a lot of the time students will see a question and they think that they already know what it's asking. So they just reel off an answer and they don't read the question properly. So before we start, let's have a little look at this one. So we're trying to say, why does graphite conduct electricity? Why is graphite soft and slippery? And we need to talk about both structure and bonding in the answer. So there's actually quite a lot here to cover. So firstly, let's think about that structure and bonding. Structure means what kind of substance is this? If you looked at it under a microscope, what could you actually see? So the first thing we want to say is that it is a giant covalent molecule. So it's not an ionic lattice or a metallic lattice or a simple molecule. It's a giant covalent molecule. And when we say giant, that isn't just a descriptive word. It's an actual categorization. So we're saying that it's made up of thousands and thousands of atoms. Also, if we want to be a bit more specific to just graphite, we might want to talk about the fact that it's made up of layers of hexagonal rings. Then in terms of the bonding, we're saying, well, how are the atoms held together in that structure? So we know that um, graphite is a covalent substance. And in that covalent structure, every carbon atom makes three strong covalent bonds. Now, be really careful with that, because so often we see students write that graphite contains three bonds or diamond contains four bonds. No, they don't. They contain millions of bonds, but each atom in graphite is making three strong covalent bonds. So just be really careful with your wording there. Now, we know that carbon can always make four bonds. So because each carbon atom in graphite is only making three, that means that there is one remaining electron which is delocalized. And that's going to be really important when we come to explain the properties. So. Now let's think about this conducting electricity. Graphite conducts electricity due to delocalized electrons. That's the mark that everybody always gets. When there's just like a little two marker asking you about graphite conducting electricity, everyone gets delocalized electrons and then most people stop writing, but we need to finish the story. So graphite conducts electricity due to delocalized electrons, which are free to move through the substance and carry charge. So you want to make sure that you're saying through the substance, not throughout, because through implies it's going all in the same direction, whereas throughout implies that it's going all over the place and they are carrying charge as they do so. And then graphite is slippery because there are no strong covalent bonds between layers. So each layer of graphite, what we call a piece of graphene, has strong covalent bonds inside that layer. But then each layer is just sat on top of the layer below it and there aren't any bonds between them. And what that means is that there are only very weak forces between them and they're really easy to overcome. So the layers can slide past one another. In order to get six marks at a bare minimum, you're going to need to have explained both properties correctly and mentioned a little bit of something about structure and a little bit of something about bonding. Now, these three sentences that I've written at the bottom do have a fair chunk of structure and bonding in them. So if you'd written those three sentences in their entirety, then you could get six marks, but you could also have done things slightly differently. So you definitely need to have delocalized electrons or free electrons in your answer to get six marks. You definitely need to talk about them being free to move through the substance. 
you definitely need to talk about how there are no strong bonds between layers or only weak forces between layers because that way you're implying the same thing if there are only weak forces then there aren't any strong covalent bonds and you need to talk about the layers sliding over each other however if you've got those four things then you can miss out a bit of the extra detail provided you have some other detail about structure and bonding in there so for instance you might have not talked about carrying charge but you might have talked about the fact that this is a giant covalent structure and you might have talked about each carbon atom making three strong covalent bonds and we could give you credit for those as well also if you haven't done so well with this question and you have included those different things from the top then in a level one answer you would still get credit for those so if all you've written is that graphite is a giant covalent molecule then actually you could probably get two marks for that because you could have one mark for the giant structure and one mark for the fact that it's covalent bonding for tomorrow's question we're looking at one of the physics required practicals from paper one don't forget there is a link in the description below to all of this week's questions and also the playlist containing all of the videos in this series so far thank you very much for watching and i hope that you have found this a useful contribution to your revision if you're enjoying the six mark challenge then don't forget to like and subscribe for more gcc science revision videos coming soon